hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be doing a tutorial on this makeup look this is the palette i use it's the bretman rock and wet and wild collaboration i was not able to get the whole entire collection because it also comes with a loose highlighter and some other things but i was only able to get these two items so i also wanted to mention this hair extensions that i'm wearing today these are the insert name here this is a little bag that they come to store them. Uh, this is a U-clip. Uh, you basically like part your hair um, in the middle. And then you just put the hair extensions right over here on the crown. And I really love them. They're really thick. It's a really thick extension. And they're 16 inches. So it's like this. So it's like up to here like by my boobs. So yeah guys. So if you guys want to see the video, let's just get right to it. You guys can see I already have my eyebrows done and I prime my lips using the Stay Matte by Rimmel London. Uh, this is in the color Ivory. It's this one right here. I'm going to pick up the palette by Bretman Rock in Wet n Wild. This is in Jungle Rock. This is in their newest collaboration. I'm going to pick up the color Call Fleming Ho. So I'm just packing that color all over my crease. Make sure I'm blending everything so I won't have any harsh lines. And you see, I built out this color just so it would like not be splashy. Because I have noticed that every time I go in with a darker color, and if you just pick up a lot, it's just going to be splashy and you cannot blend it like the way you want it to look. So I'm going to grab another blending brush with no um, product in it. And I'm just going to blend that in. Make sure there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going to pick up another brush. And this is the BH Cosmetics blending brush. And I'm going to pack. I'm going to grab this other palette. And I'm going to pick up pounds on them. And it's this red one right here. And I'm going to pack that in my outer corner. Tap the brush. So I'm going to pack this all over my outer corner. For my outer V, as uh, like I'm doing right now. And I'm going to drag it out a little bit to pass my eyebrow, like a little tail from my brow. So it look more elongated. And I'm don't worry about it because I'm going to um sharp that carve that out with my concealer so i'm just gonna do this i'm gonna pack a little bit more of the red okay and now that i got it in my desired um color or how i want it i'm gonna blend a little bit more with that brush that uh, blending brush but um this one is clean and i'm gonna start blending those colors together just so there won't be any harsh lines and i'm gonna do a cut crease because i am gonna use this um liar and a cheetah i kind of love that name on my inner corner so it will brighten up the eye and i'm gonna grab the same um state matte concealer and i'm gonna put that a little bit on my lid right over here and i'm gonna look up and i'm gonna start carving so i'm gonna use a blending angle brush <laughs> an angle brush and i'm gonna start creating a cut crease And with this, I always like to take my time doing the cut crease because my eyes are a little hooded, so I have to work with them. And I'm going to do one eye in camera and then I'm going to do the other one off camera just so I won't take a lot of time doing this. Now we're going to be here forever. Now 
I'm gonna blend in this. So now that I have it at my de desired um, length, I guess, I'm gonna pack that color called Liar and Cheetah that I said. So I'm gonna grab the Jungle uh, Rock palette and I'm gonna grab this color called Liar and a Cheetah. I love that color, that name. And it looks super good. Oh my god. I need, I need another brush because that one just fell apart. Um, so I'm going to pick that up. And I'm going to use the Photo Focus um, Coconut Primer Water. And I'm going to spray that a little bit on the brush. I'm running low on this. And I'm going to pack this on the inner corner. Oh my god, I love this color. And I'm kind of going to drag it a little bit with the red so it will blend in a little bit more. And I'm also going to pick up that uh, pounds on them color again. And I'm going to build it up a little bit more just because it did wash out. So I'm going to take it right there. Now that it looks exactly how I want it to look, I'm going to grab the pink brush again. And without picking any color, I'm just going to blend this a little bit. Just so there won't be any harsh lines. And yeah. So I'm going to go do my this eye off camera and I'll be right back. Hi right, guys. So I already did this uh, eye. And I'm going to still be on the eyes. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. Um, highlighter. This is in the color white gold. And I'm going to pick it up with a small brush and I'm just going to put that in my inner corners and on the brow bone. Right over here. What? So don't mind that little splashiness of the um, highlighter. I'm going to fix that in a moment. Put a little bit of that and now I'm going to put it in the inner corners but I'm going to spray a little a little bit with the photo focus so it will be popping and put this right over here So I'm going to leave it like that because I'm still going to work on my lower lash line. So I'm going to move on to my face and I'm going to still use the Photo Focus Primer Water. And I'm going to spray my face. And I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color of Buff Beige. Or Buff Bistique. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. And I'm going to grab the little mirror. It sounds like I'm doing a freaking ad for um, what a while, but I really like this brand. It's affordable and they have really good products. So I'm just going to put this all over my face. I'm running low on this one. And I'm going to grab my beauty sponge and I'm going to wet it a little bit. I always like to do my my foundation last after I do my eyes because uh, you can get the eyeshadows on your foundation and then you have a big mess. Got it in my hair. 
so you always want to be careful with those brows because you spend a lot of time doing them and you don't want to mess them up. Get my foundation, I'm going to use this State Matte Rimmel London in the color Ivory. That's the same one I've been using for the entire video. And I'm going to basically highlight my entire face. Well, not my entire face. Like just underneath the eyes. And in between the eyebrows, my nose, my cupid as well. What the hell is this? Oh my god. <laughs> and my chin. And I'm gonna use the same uh, elf brush blending sponge. I like this concealer because you have you can basically blend it and it's not gonna like dry it out like the elf concealer I really like that one as well but you have to work with one eye at a time because if not it's gonna dry up on you and then you're gonna have to put more product and that's just wasting product and then right here. now I'm gonna pick up this wet and wild um, contour stick in the color Call me Ma Maple. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I love Wet n Wild. I keep using their products and like they never disappoint. As you guys can tell, <laughs> it's a little bit darker than my skin, but it's alright because we're gonna blend this in. I wanna try the KKW Contra Sticks down the bridge of my nose. And again. Set this. hairline because you don't want none of that to look plotchy. It's plotchy or plotchy? I don't even know. See, no harsh lines and I kind of blend in with my skin. I'm gonna get a lighter color but I really want to um, buy the Kim Kardashian um, contour stick. Because I've been hearing a lot of good things about them. And I don't buy high-end stuff. I always try to like stay with the Elf and like what a while. Kind of like drugstore foundations and stuff. And makeup. Just because it's more affordable. And um, I'm trying to save up money. And I'm trying to go all out. And now that I have that, I'm gonna set my eyes, my under eye, my under eye, and everything else with the Elf uh, powder. This is in the color Fair Light. And I'm gonna grab this brush, tap the excess, and set everything. And now that that's done, I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics, not BH Cosmetics, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the color Light Medium. And I'm going to use this one over here. I'm going to use the two to bronze up the skin or set that bronzer. Mm. Actually, I'm going to use the big one. Whatever. Tap the axis. You always want to tap the axis because then you don't want to look like a clown. <laughs> and I kind of use that brush to just go all over. And then on my chin because I got a double chin. Carved on chin. <laughs> Alright. 
And now that that's, now that that's done, we are going to move into blush. Let me just get this hair out of my face. This is in the color Berry Amore. It's by B Milani. Like, I need to get a new one. It's like broken. And I'm going to use this Wet n Wild brush. Uh, they don't even have the names. So I cannot even be saying over here the names because I don't know. This one kind of looks darker because uh, I have a pimple right there, so it's like as you guys can see, the pimple, not pimple. <laughs> and I also go in my nose just so it will blend it a little bit more. Now that's that's done. <clears throat> the punch again I'm going to wet it a little bit and I'm going to put it or dip it inside the powder pick up the excess and I'm going to like bake underneath my cheekbones I'm gonna create a line so your cheeks will look more contoured or defined. I'm gonna pick up the brush again that I use for the blush. Put a little bit there. So I went ahead and did this eye off camera just so I won't be here forever. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab Fleming Ho again and I'm gonna use this flat brush and I'm just going to pack it on the lower lash line. So I'm basically doing the same thing I did with the eyes in the lower lash line. So where's the other one? And I'm going to pick another brush and I'm going to pick up Bounce on them. And I'm going to put that in my outer lower lash line right here. And I'm going to connect that to the upper outer corner. Excuse my faces. <laughs> and that's it for the lower lash line. Then I'm going to grab the Wet n Wild <laughs> Mega like, Mascara. I'm telling you guys, this is like a freaking ad for Wet n Wild. Okay. And I'm going to grab this brush right here and I'm just going to swipe it in vertical motions. This helps to not get the mascara under that lower lash line. And now I'm going to put eyeliner on the lower lash line. Alright. Now that that's done, I'm going to dust the powder away from the cheeks that we had over here. And I'm going to spray my face. I'm going to grab my little fan first so that mascara will dry out because I don't want it to <laughs> go all over my eyes. Right. Just a little bit. And I'm going to grab the Makeup Miss and Said by e.l.f. I'm going to spray my face. So now I'm going to use the highlighter uh, that comes with the collection. This is a loose highlighter. So I already opened it because I just watched it earlier. And I'm going to put it a little bit right over here on the cap. Not a lot because loose highlighters are really pigmented. And I'm going to grab my Real Techniques brush if I can find it. This one right here. I'm going to actually spray it a little bit before dipping it in. Use that 
I'm going to use this mirror and I'm going to pack this like a lid. I'm going to pick a little bit more. Like, look at that. Oh my god, it has little sparkles of pink. Oh my god, I love this highlighter. <sighs> I just said, oh my god, like three times. <laughs> One thing about me, I love highlighter. Like, oh, it's my obsession. Like, if I can collect highlighters, I will do it. I love it. And I use this same highlighter right here. My nose. I'm going to keep this bow on the chin. And a little bit more on the temples. I like my highlight popping. Alrighty. Now that that's done, we're going to move into lips. And I'm going to use another product by Wood & Wild. <laughs> oh, I didn't say the color. Uh, this is... Send me nudes or send nudes. Alrighty. Now that that's done, I'm gonna take these off. Yeah, I'm gonna just be pretty. Sit here. <laughs> so this is the final look if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below for more videos to come and yeah guys have a wonderful day